It's not all the way to the end. Push, push, push. It's not all the way to the end. Do we get it out? I didn't get it out. Yep. We'll have to do the heat. This is my first Propex coupling. As you can see, it's in my hand. So it wasn't the best experience ever, but that's one of the reasons we're here on YouTube is to not only learn from our successes, but from our mistakes. So today I'm sharing my first Propex coupling experience with you. The first thing I did was just familiarize myself with the tool. How much does it weigh? How does it behave when it's in action? Just getting a good feeling for it. And also got some really cool video shots to share with you. Just building up confidence prior to trying out the first coupling. Well, in any case, I either was too slow or I did not let the machine stay on long enough before it didn't go on all the way. But that's the reality of it. And the next three went on just fine. But that's the part I wanna share with you is, it's not always perfect. We're not always in, you know, you see our videos and they're all edited perfectly, but it didn't always happen that way the first time. Not every project goes perfect. You have to be a little patient, especially when something like this makes the project take two or three times as long because removing, you gotta be super careful about removing. And that's what I'll share with you in a follow on video is how we remove this, but just that it's not always perfect the first time and have patience with yourself when you're learning something new. So post your mistakes. And here's what I did differently the next time. Keep the expansion tool going four to five times when it hits the end of the PEX tube. Move fast and keep any pre-installed insulation or anything else out of the way so you can clearly see what's going on and it doesn't prevent you from quickly moving the coupling in place. I hope that this helps you so that your first PEX coupling goes on just as smooth as possible and you don't have any do-overs. Thanks for watching and I will see you next Friday.